Hello and welcome back to this channel. This is Abhinav. So in this video, we are going to discuss the problem A and B of Port Forces Educational Round 121, which is declared unrated because of that uh, problem in Port Forces website. Okay. So now we will move towards the problem. The problem A was uh, pretty simple. Okay. It is. It has just a one-line code. So it is asking that we have a string S, we have, uh, which contains some lowercase letter letters, in which every letter appears uh, no more than twice. Okay. Your task is to rearrange the letters in the string in such a way that each pair of letter that appears twice, the distance between the letters in the pair is the same. Okay. So there are some some letters which are present only one time, and there are some letters which are present twice. So we have to make the distance between the letter which are present in pair same. So what we can do is we can just uh, write them as adjacent letters means A, A, B, B, C, C like that. So, that. so the distance between them will be one only for all the cases. So that means we have to just sort this string. We have to just sort the string so that the distance between becomes equal. For example, here we can just here it is L and L distance is 0. In case of this one, we can just write A, A, B, B, C, C, B. So distance between one, A, A is 1, between B, B is 1, between C, C is also 1. We have to just solve the given string. That's the code only. We have to just solve the given string. Nothing else will be more than that. It is a one line code here. Okay. Solve the string and output the string. So yeah, it is the you can say the saltest code in my uh, history of coding fine so yeah now the problem number b so problem b was uh, a good one fine it was uh, a greedy and implemented implementation big problem the thing is that x is between 10 to the power 2 lakh means we have to take x output as I string we can't take x as an integer or long now. We have to input it as a string. So you have to remember this thing that whenever we have the constant of x very high, we have to take it as a string. Fine. Okay. Now uh, there is the problem is that we can just choose two adjacent uh, digits of that number and then we can add the digits and write its result in place of that digits. For example, if we choose 1 and 0, it can be written as 1, uh, 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. For 0 plus 5, it will be 5. For 5 plus 7, it will be 12. So in, place, in place of 5, 7, it will be 12. Like this. So like this, we have to output the largest uh, number that can be obtained. So the thing is that every time we are taking two numbers and replacing with their sum. Okay. So their sum will be between... 19 not 19 will be between 18 to uh, 2 1 or 0 their sum will be between 18 to 0 so let's move towards the whiteboard what i am trying to say is so that whenever we are uh, uh, we are summing two numbers two one digit number for example a plus b then their sum will be between 18 to 0 if a is 0 and b is 0 then sum is 0 and the uh, maximum case when a is 9 and b is 9, it will be 18. It cannot be written 18, it cannot be less than 0. Okay. So this is the particular case. Now, what we do is that whenever, for example, there is the option is 10057. Okay. So when we are uh, uh, when we are uh, uh, changing or replacing this particular string with a new one, for example, 1, 2, it will be always less than this particular uh, this particular number for example if we are adding 12 it will be 0 3 if we are adding 34 it will be 0 7 so only 3 will be added only 7 will be added if it is 99 we are just adding 18 it will be all always less than the given number if it is 57 it becomes 12 now so as it is always less and we have to opt, uh, we have to uh, perform this operation only once then it should be at the least 
priority space means the the place value of that number should be least as much possible as least as possible means we have to trade from back side if the string is 10057 we have to trade from back side and whenever we we got a case where the sum of ai plus ai minus 1 means two adjacent numbers is greater than 9 because it should be greater than 9 also why greater than 9 because if it is less than 9 then this two digit number for example if it is 21 then this two digit number will be exchanged by a one digit number if it is less than 9 less than or equal to 9 so in this case also in this case also the, the resultant number is very less okay so first the first condition is the, that the sum of adjacent digit is greater than or equal to uh, means greater than 9 or greater than or equal to 10 this is the first case and the second case is that it will be from the leftmost side and if there is no two indices such that their sum is greater than or equal to 10 then we have to just add the last digit for example the case is this one so in that case this digit is also not 10 so we will just take the first two digits and convert it into 1001 like that this was the logic behind this problem okay so let's check the code part so code is also little bit complex we can say okay that it is little bit complex so let's check it so what i have done is uh, that uh, i have uh, it treated from the back side and i have checked to the descent digit if the sum is greater than 9 then it is okay i have just outputted the remaining strings otherwise i have uh, otherwise if it is not present means uh, there are no two adjacent uh, indices such that their sum is greater than 9 then we are uh, if the size of the string is 2 then we are just outputting the sum of that two and else we are we are adding the first two indices and remaining string as it is this is the basically code you can check it out so in case of any doubt you can comment down or you can join a telegram to us you can also subscribe our channel thank you for watching the video i hope you like it thank you